Greetings and welcome to Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. In this video we're going to cover the achievement, Tame the Beast. That's what you want, isn't it? The gods will punish you for this. They can't stop me. I will fulfill my vow. Whatever the cost. The video will be a walkthrough of key points in this chapter and does not include the lore stones. The lore stones for each chapter are covered in another video. After your introduction to the beast stalking Senua from the shadows, run ahead into the light and wait. A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name, and it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you? The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. Now make your way to the end of the hallway and approach the brazier. After the cutscene, focus on the runes on the door and head back to the light in the beginning. When her mother lost her smile, her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold. From here turn right and descend the stairs to fight off some enemies. I don't talk much about her father. Zimbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. After the battle, pick up the torch and light up the entire room. Now go up the stairs and look at the floor to see that the shadows form your first room. Now let's get back towards the rune sealed door and go into the doorway at the far end to your right. Once you reach the stairs, descend and make your way through the next scene. Watch ahead and make your way from light source to light source until you reach a brazier with a torch. Pick up the torch and head back towards the entrance of the room. You will spot a little wooden construction that grants entry to a stone circle. Light the torches in the circle and look at the object in the water to identify the next rune. Now head back to where you pick up the torch and head up the stairs. Open the door and go straight into the next staircase. Now we go up and follow the path to the bottom level. Light the torch here and look at the shadow on the wall to identify the last rune you need. After opening the door and seeing the cutscene, you move along the latches and pick up the torch.
follow the way ahead until you pass over a wooden beam. Look left and you can see another wooden beam you can pass under. Pass through and deal with the enemies here. After the encounter, pick up your torch again and focus on the rune on the door. Right after, head up the little staircase and light a brazier here. Head back down the stairs and pass back under the beam to go outside. Here turn left and go into the alcove. Look at the wall and you will see a wooden construct that will form the next rune you need. Now pass through the door and follow the way until you can relight your torch. After passing over the wooden beam, follow the path to your left and drop down. On the lower level, turn around and follow the little tunnel and the crawl space to a brazier. Light the brazier and return to the previous room. Face the waterfall next to the rune sealed door and pass through. Start running towards the bridge on the right hand side and find safety in the light. Relight your torch with the brazier and go back to the way you ran. Head up the ramps and light the brazier here. Step through the waterfall and focus on the rune on the door. Right next to it you can see a shadow cast on the wall and you can identify the rune that you need to open the door. Now open the door and follow the path deeper into the belly of the beast and prepare for the boss battle against Fenrir. The boss can be forced to its knees by constantly hitting it with heavy attacks. The boss's attacks have to be dodged with sidesteps or rolls. When the boss retreats into the shadows, listen to the breathing. Stop your camera at the point when the breathing is the loudest and dodge the charge with a roll to the side. When the boss covers the room in darkness, activate your focus to see through the darkness and turn the tide of the battle. And that's it for the achievement. If the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.